so hi all I have here something a little different than the other things I will show you what do I mean a friend of mine gave me this uh, Midland CT2000 uh, transceiver this is a uh, VHF UHF transceiver and he claims that accidentally he tore one of the a uh, one of the flat cable inside this device by using a force to remove uh, the microphone and the speaker the headset it was plugged in and he forgot that uh, it is going with this uh, uh, knob that you have to to turn on and off to rotate it in order to connect it in so he forgot about the rotation of this uh, metal part in order to keep this device inside the unit. So accidentally he pulled it uh, out and there is a tiny connection here. This is a flat cable of six pins that tore uh, off this unit. We have here a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pins inside this uh, connection. And there is a PCB part, this tiny part that is on my hand right now that is connected to this tiny flat cable. So hopefully you can see it, it's so tiny and it tore off that it was very difficult to understand which wire going where. So I did some reverse engineering and hopefully I connect everything okay. So I made here some drawing if you have the same problem so you will be able to use my drawing and fix it to yourself. And now maybe okay. To... Okay, so now I will show you what happened. So you have a flat cable from here to the connector and it was tore off so I had to, to understand how to because we don't have this part and the company doesn't sell it so we have to find a way to fix it so I told him give it to me I will try to do what I can so uh, I've made a drawing and you can see that uh, instead of connection to the uh, original connector that is inside so what I did I keep the connector and I found vias in the PCB where I can uh, with a little screwdriver gently remove uh, the cover and uh, the protection and put solder in order to solder the wires so I did it very gently and hopefully it is okay so what I'm going to do now in order to keep this alive for a long time maybe I will put some a uh, hot glue in order to catch the wires especially in the PCB area and then uh, we'll connect everything back and see if this fix is holding any water <laughs> or I did something wrong so let's check it So maybe before putting the hot glue, I will show you about the connection. So if you keep it this way, like I'm putting it here on the cam. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six connection. And I have numbered it like this. And the other side is the flat cable connection. So we will be able with this picture to understand if this is uh, the unit how to fix it so in order to keep it maybe more understandable I will put here all the other part and here we have the flat cable that is going uh, to this side of the unit okay so you need to use it like this way now I will try to put focus okay so now we have a better focus now I will put the hot glue 
near my wires in order to catch them. What I will do, I think, I will put it a little away from the soldering point because if something go off, I want to be able to see it. I miss one of them is exactly at the soldering point. Anyway, okay, I think this will be enough. Now we'll wait a few seconds till the glue will cool off and then we'll put everything back to place. Now, if you will notice, since it was torn down, so it's a little moving, even now after the fix, so it can be moved a little, but I think we have enough flexibility with the wires, hopefully they will survive. So, okay, so last thing to do is to pray. Maybe I will put some more glue here at this point. I think it will be a good idea. Yes, yeah, something like this. Okay. So now even with the flexibility, I think it will be okay. Okay, so now when your connection connecting everything back you need, of course, to, to take into account to open this tiny and gentle plastic here and put this way. This is a little tricky. I hate this connection, but there is no other way to do it. Maybe on the other side it will be more easy for me. So do everything without applying power because everything is very gentle here and it can tear off. So now we have a sticker of do not remove, avoid your warranty. I know that my warranty is already voided, so there is no other way. Okay, so now we will put all the screws back. Okay, I think everything is good. Now I will connect it to power supply. And again, I will show you on the PCB the wire. So it is going one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the number on the flat cable. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. The last one is a ground. So you can connect it to any ground. The other pins I found uh, by looking at the PCB where is the via close to it so I can connect it easily and that's all so now let's because I don't have an antenna it's not a good thing to transmit without an antenna so I will put something and this is another trick to all the RF guys so what you have to do is to put a load any kind of float. So what I usually do in this case is just using a regular electricity wire and connecting it to the, to the antenna connector. So now even if I am transmitting it will be okay and it will not burn uh, the unit. It will not burn our transmitter 
now because it's a little tricky so I bended the connection so it will connect easily and it will be cut okay so now I'm putting this part and let's see if we have succeeded in this task so 12 volt 1 amp on okay something is happening let's see buttons okay you see if the buttons are working so everything i guess is working so i'm going in the volume up and down this is okay so now we will test the transmitting it looks like it is okay <laughs> okay okay so this is just a mic there is no uh, speaker in this part the speaker is inside the unit band band n a and b function function is working menu is working so everything is fixed and this fix is working so thank you and bye for now